Hello all and welcome back. Today we are going to create this beautiful parallax effect animation. You can use this kind of effect as a intro to any presentation. So let's get started. Let's first enable the guides and then format the background. Right click and choose format background. On the right side pane, select picture fill and then click on insert option. Browse for any of your custom image file and then click on open to add it into the slide. Next go to insert tab, draw rectangle shape filling up entire slide size. Make it no outline, and rename it as main rectangle, under selection pane. It's important that we rename every shapes for easy reference. Duplicate this rectangle 3 more times using Ctrl plus D, change their colors, and rename them as small, medium and big rectangles, in sequence. So total there will be 4 rectangle shapes, and each must completely fill up entire slide size. Next go to insert tab, and draw circle through center of slide holding down control and shift keys. Make it no outline and fill it with dark grey color. Rename this shape as small circle. Also, increase its transparency to see through. Now duplicate this circle two more times using Ctrl plus D, increase their size, and rename them as medium and big circle. You must rename these circles in the same way as that of rectangle shapes. Let's hide all the shapes under selection pane, and unhide only main rectangle shape. Go to format shape, and then fill this rectangle with slide background, which is a picture in this case. Also, apply auto shadow effect by adjusting its transparency and blur values. Now we will animate this rectangle shape. Enable the animation pane, and then go to more animation paths. Select right motion path and click on OK. Adjust the end point of this motion path, and then start it with previous. Reduce the duration to 1.5 second, and set delay to 0.25 seconds. Go to more effect options, and add smooth end effect of 1.5 second, which is our total animation duration.
Next go to add animation option and then apply grow and shrink animation. Start it with previous and increase the duration to 5 seconds. So each shape will have two animations and this is how effect looks like. Now go to selection pane, unhide small rectangle and small circle shapes. Subtract both shapes and format it with slight background fill. Apply outer shadow effect and adjust transparency, size and blur values until you see the cut section at the middle. Go to animation pane, and as before, apply same two set of animations to this shape. For motion path animation, make sure to adjust the end point somewhere at the middle of previous animation. And for grow and shrink animation, make sure to increase the duration greater than previous animation. So if you preview the effect now, this is how it looks like. Beautiful. Go to selection pane and rename this as small shape. Next unhide medium rectangle and medium circle shapes and follow the same process. Select small shape and then make use of format painter and animation painter to apply same effects to medium shape. Again adjust the end point of line motion path roughly at the middle of previous animation. I forgot to increase the duration of grow and shrink animation, but I will do it later. Finally, unhide big rectangle and big circle shapes and apply same effect of medium shape using format painter and animation painter. Now increase the duration of grow and shrink animation to 7 seconds for medium shape. Because we kept on decreasing the distance of line motion path on every instance, this time, its end point will be at the center. So we will remove line motion path animation from big shape. Also, increase the duration of grow and shrink animation to 8 seconds for big shape. 
This is how the effect looks like. Beautiful. Lastly, add your title at the middle and apply zoom animation. Start it with previous and set both duration and delay values to 0.75 seconds. So this is the final preview, hope you all liked it. Please don't forget to like, share and comment.